just told me I burned four pieces, four slices of pizza, 1,100 calories. And uh, that's my Zwift ride done before heading to Arctic Race of Norway. Um, someone asked um, what do I pack in my race bag and that's I'll discuss with you now and I'll show you what I put in my bag before heading to these races. Remember we don't have a team bus there so you might have to bring some extra accessories. Okay, so these are my two bags which I'll be traveling with to the Arctic race, but there's no time now I'm taking the bus to Barcelona. Mandy's not taking me this time, I'm giving her off. Hey Mandy, I'm giving you a little bit of off time. And uh, it's leaving at 20 past 12, so that's in 15 minutes. So I'll have to tell you what's in my suitcases later tonight. <laughs> So, as a traveler, you should probably ask Monday. What's the most important thing a shy cyclist should remember? And we haven't rehearsed this as but you've seen how many documents and stuff we as South Africans need. Um, what do you think? Well definitely your passport and a yeah. credit card. Yeah. No matter One that what, works. Yeah, no matter what, whenever you have a credit card you can buy yourself kind of anything you need and so you mean a backup credit card as well? <laughs> as because well as you can. The credit card, there will come a point where it gets blocked or it doesn't work. That's only if you work yeah, There's a cyclist. Banks. Okay. We are cycling fans of course, so we need to record. <laughs> and secondly, definitely your itinerary of your bus ticket and your flight ticket close by. Screenshots on your phone usually works these days. See, that's why she's my hero because she does all of that stuff and then I can focus on training and making vlogs. <laughs> <laughs> that, that I have to print my bus ticket. No. I have to show them. Why do I always travel with so many stuff and all my teammates have less stuff? Because Like I've got this bag, that bag, backpack and this bag. So I hear what people have to say about the uh, being a min minimalist. minimalist but there are no rules in this world you can do what you want and if you want to carry a lot of luggage with you and make life difficult you can no, life's not meant to be easy sometimes all the bikes Finally arrived here with uh, and bus, and uh, it's just much easier sometimes coming with the bus and Mandy dropping me off here. Okay, so as I checked in today, um, let me just get out my passport. I just quickly want to talk about something before I get on with this day. Is that you, Link? You've got this self service check ins, and it's fast. It really is fast if you know how it works. Um, you just scan, you scan your passport, your ticket, and 
it prints out the sticker and you need to put that on your own bag check your bag in but the problem is a lot of people are first timers on the airports a lot of people don't know how it works and the other problem is once a bag is overweight by just 900 grams it rejects it and the people have to start unpacking their stuff so the people that obey the rules are getting negatively affected by that and it makes guys like me sometimes who obey who don't always obey the rules but most of the time try and obey them it makes us late because we have to stand in that queue and wait for them to unpack their luggage which they eventually just pack into their backpacks and anyway take onto their plane so it's not really working and it's slow th it's slowing things down quite a lot um, and then there was one counter where people could help you so i don't know if you're trying to get less staff or whatever but the system's not working I look all like that. I wonder when I'm big. Ah, oh, good old, good old uh, airport hotels. I'm first gonna go eat, and I still need to get to what's in my racing bag and what I take on to tour. Okay, good morning, everyone. Um, so I promised to show you what's in my touring bag whenever I go on races, and here it is. First of all, I've got my own pillow, which uh, I travel in. Um, just makes me sleep better sleeping in with the same pillow. Uh, a race cap. Uh, I've got my drone here for whenever there's some really nice footage um, or when there's really nice scenery uh, like in Norway at the coast. But I don't always have time for that. Obviously my recovery comes first. And nutrition and rest so even if there is some time to go for a walk clear the head for 15 minutes I'll take with the drone and um, then most importantly of all I've got my racing suit it's not a skin suit which I take with um, and basically they wash our kit every day so there's no need for me to bring five sets of these um, I've got a normal it's really cold so i don't have my uh summer the uh shirt it's just the normal winter the normal winter shirt um always for the days that i don't want to be on on the in the suit i will have a normal pair of pants as well uh, just like this is like a wind jammer wind vest um, but it's very soft material um, you can always put that on when it's a little bit chilly um, under vest as well uh, yeah a long long sleeve jersey if you're wondering a warm long sleeve jersey then for walking to the buses but a lot of times it might be raining on your way to the bus and you might still be a normal cleat so i've got the casual wear casual wear long sleeve water resistant rain jacket which i always it's not yeah it's for casual wear so uh then i've got my racing very warm long rain jacket um yeah this is very warm so but it's super light as well and then i've got this super light rain jacket as well and of course to finish off the clothing part with the under vest um, this is a normal under vest nothing special about it uh, i've got a bit of a different under vest in here as well like the sleeveless like this Okay, so that that concludes most of the kit that I've got here. Yeah, then I've got a few, I'm not going to show you all of them, but I've got a um, my glasses here from Oakley with two to three different lenses in here for if it's raining or cloudy, and I prefer a different uh, overlay on my lens. Uh, 
I don't always like eating a lot of bread, so if I do eat bread, I try and keep it gluten-free for my body to digest a little bit better. I've got some sugar-free sweets to just uh, suck on when I get a lot of cravings at night. I don't really have a lot of that. I've got some casual shirts from Katusha in here. My Bible. I've got my for my compression boots. The okay, well, this it's about four and a half kilos. So my bag's always four and a half kilos heavier, which I need to compensate for. But it's for my compression boots. Let's see, okay, this is to stretch with. You can do different stretch exercises in the morning. Uh, I'll show you all about that later on. Okay, so yeah, I've got a few things. I've got like these leg warmers, uh, socks. We're using the white Katusha socks right now. A buff, yeah, a buff. You know what a buff is. This comes over your head um, to cover your mouth. Mostly before, after the stages when it's really cold. Some waterproof booties. Um, this is just like a head, small head strap uh, to keep the ears closed and, and your head warm. I also have a rain cap here because uh, the team bus won't be. We're so far north, the team bus won't be here. Laundry bag give to the people at the laundry for them to wash and then I've got my cycling shoes in here as well okay so that's basically what I have in my big bag let's quickly have a quick look at the small bag my small bag I've got casual glasses I'm not gonna open that right now um, my onto a sleeping pack so in this would just be like Cover your eyes if you want to take a quick nap. Um, some ear, some ear plugs as well. The eyes. Then I like keeping all my chargers in a clear pack, so it's easy to just take them out. I've got my passport always in that bag and my Wahoo. That's basically that. Um, I don't know if you really enjoyed that. That's basically it. Hope you enjoyed it.